Hello guys, welcome to another FU Money show uh, where we analyze uh, Bitcoin's price. So let's go to the chart. Okay. So the price of Bitcoin has been rising uh, since yesterday. We are now around fifty-four thousand and a half dollars. Um, the pro indicators. Um, strategy invalidated the previous third range boundary here at this uh, last swing high and we are now looking for a new third range boundary so I've been I've been asked a few times what's a range boundary so basically the market moves in two uh, ways trend range trend range so basically there are two types of movements for the market you have ranges and you have trends the trends can be up or down the ranges are usually the zigzag around two boundaries that's why i call them the first the second the third range boundary uh, so this is the language uh, that comes from phil the the guy that created the pro indicators and I'm uh, using his language because it's much easier when you use the indicator just to, to understand what the range boundary is and uh, what you can uh, take from there. So basically we have been trending since uh, the 22nd of January when the market started to go up after this range here. Then we had a third range boundary breakout, which means that the this price level here for the th third range boundary was broken to the upside and since then we have been trending and now we started another range so basically you need only three points to define a range uh, the pro indicators and the market itself is still trying to find the third range boundary but assuming that we are going to have a third range boundary around here you can already start to think about your range so assuming that this area will be the third range boundary we can start already drawing the range here and with the other point here which would be the second range boundary so basically what you have is basically what happened in the past uh, starting from this year, uh, the 8th of January, when we reached the first range boundary here, the second range boundary here, the third range boundary here, and the fourth range boundary here. So what I'm looking for now, I can just identify them again for this range. So I can basically just drag the range boundaries here so that you clearly understand what the range boundary is. here and we have the third range boundary now trying to maybe around here let me just delete this because this was a mistake so basically we are now uh, forming a mature range and you see the first range boundary, the second range boundary, the third range boundary, and that's what you need to draw your range, your channel here. So I'm assuming, I'm just assuming that this, this is not still confirmed by the indicator. I'm assuming this will become the third range boundary, which means that when you drop your fibs here, from the first range boundary to the second range boundary, you get your areas of interest. So this red area and this green area are the areas of interest. Any price that goes into the red or just to the, you know, the same, the first, the first line that defines the red area will become of interest. That's why I am assuming or predicting that the third range boundary will will be around this area because there's a lot of resistance above this area and 
the most probable situation is that we are going to form a fourth range boundary around here which would take us to the um, to the area that most people are talking about around the 40k 42k maybe even 39k so this is just one of the scenarios which are possible right now so what happens so now you define the scenarios that you can have so you can plan ahead what your strategy will be so let's assume that the third range boundary is defined and confirmed which is not true but let's assume it so what you do from here is you predict what scenarios can happen so basically if this is confirmed and one of the scenarios is we are going to form a fourth range boundary the most probable action will be the price will do something uh, like that forming a fourth range boundary um, which would be something like this oops sorry i forgot to change the okay so this is our area of interest this is one of the scenarios so i will call it just fourth range boundary here interrogation marks because of course this is not yet confirmed in any way so this is one of the scenarios for the price the other scenario is we could just retrace the price below uh, something like this so this is another possible scenario however this scenario however likely it may be is inside the dump area as you've seen in the previous video so everything inside the area in between the red and the green this is uh, the dump area where you cannot it's it's just chaos you cannot predict or um, have any any kind of uh, interesting you know bet on what the price will do next so basically when you get the price around the green area or below it or the red area or above it you can at least predict a lot more about where the price is going and the third scenario it's something like completely rational market breaking all resistances from here and starting to go up not even you know forming a third third range boundary which w would be this uh, vortex here before the price goes down again so we have three scenarios my area of interest right now which is one of the scenarios would be something around here this would be my area of interest for the scenario that the price is forming the third range boundary it will come back down mature the range inside the channel and from here we can go up again something like that and break the third range boundary and then start a new trend this would be a really nice scenario this is a nice um, speculative area of interest to me uh, let me just get the other one here this one is also very probable the price will just retrace find support around this area here go up be rejected again find support and then break the third range boundary in this case the only strategy that you can think for yourself is just wait for the price to break the third range boundary assuming that this is the level of the third range boundary and then when the break uh, of this boundary happens you can uh, you know think about a long position and try to get to the next trend if the price comes back down and enters the green area or goes below it this is a very good area for long position entry uh, 
you can expect the price to reach the bottom of the channel or at least close to it just like it happened here in January and February where your fourth range boundary just got really close to the bottom of the channel then went up uh, here it became a bit irrational because this was uh, the time when the news about Elon Musk buying Bitcoin uh, just um, everyone got to know those news and uh, were published and then the market retraced again new try broke the channel and here at this point we broke the third range boundary and we started a new trend as you can see here so basically I'm just expecting this this channel to replicate what happened before and what happens in many range channels uh, in, in many markets which is either coming down back to a fourth range boundary or just you know range a bit inside the dumb zone and then break the third range boundary up this is uh, this scenario will happen if the market becomes very irrational or if Elon Musk tweets again saying that he bought another billion in Bitcoin so this is the scenario where the irrationality uh, will jump in and move the market <coughs> So basically, this is um, this is my analysis for today. You have the three scenarios which are possible. You have to define your strategies and you have to think what to do next. Okay. So that's it, and I hope you enjoy this uh, shorter video because I'm I will I will try to to make all the videos uh, around ten minutes. 15 minutes max if the analysis uh, imposes that time but for now this is the analysis of the day let's wait and see what the price will um, will do in the next few hours and if something really important happens then I will just come back and make another video for you guys don't forget I never said this before in any of my videos but don't forget to subscribe to the channel put a like button if you enjoy this analysis and share the video with your friends and let's grow the community okay thank you for now and bye